Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest, it will be a tag team match. It's going to have a 45 minute time limit. It will be decided by one fall. Your referee for this contest will be Jesse Johnson. And this match will be for the Steel Domain Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Embracing the Golden Idol, joining the Temple of Terror. You've got to be kidding. The man's wearing it. He's wearing a kilt. Oh boy, here we go. I can't believe Ryan Slade. What a snake. What a son of a bitch. Ryan Slade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my. Under par, the team of the Golden Idol offered ostensibly a contract to and then sabotaged them, stabbed them in the back. They are here tonight in defense of their tag team titles against Eric Corbin and now Ryan Slate. When you say stabbed them in the back, Mick, you're being very kind. That was a Pearl Harbor attack. That was a beat down the likes of which has not been seen before in Steel Domain Wrestling. And 
You talk about, I have a chance to talk to oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I have never seen three under par as focused as they were arriving here at the Bloomington Event Center and talking to them before this match. Oh, they're hot. They are absolutely livid. They are white hot. Can't wait to get their hands on the Golden Idol and the Temple of Terror, Brick McCarthy. Chadwick went with the third for two years running. The Steel Domain Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And suddenly, Aaron Corbin and his mystery partner, Mr. Benedict Arnold himself, Ryan Slade, don't seem too interested in hooking up with three under par. Well, and that human banana there in the hat, walking around the ring with him. What kind of a guy wears a gold LeMay jacket like that seriously and wants to be taken seriously? The man is a goof. He's a menace. Well, and, and to, put it, to put it in perspective, you calling him the golden banana is actually complimentary to what, compared to what most people refer to the golden banana. And Idol it's as. an insult to a banana, too. So my, my apologies to Chiquita. can't get over Ryan Slade. I'm shaking my head. That that bogus interview he cut with you a few minutes ago. Obviously, this had been in the works. How Golden Idol would have approached someone like Ryan Slade? It, the, the only thing I can think of, Mick. Hang on a minute, Ken. Listen to the crowd response, Ken, for three under par. When have you heard that before? You know, I mentioned it earlier in talking to Brick and Chadworth Worth that when they came in the building, we kind of got to the parking lot at the same time. I actually, there was a smattering of SDW fans waiting for the doors to open that actually encouraged them as they came in. And I think that speaks to what they endured from the Golden Idol. You know, and the only thing I can think of, Mick, is I talked about with Ryan Slade earlier. New, the shoulder surgery costly, newly married, infant son. The only thing I can think of is Idol got to him with money. That, and just literally bought him off. You got it right there, kid. There's no doubt about it. Mystery solved. You're absolutely right. There's no question. That snake, that medicine ball on legs, got to Ryan Slade, offered him the almighty dollar, almighty buck, and Ryan Slade... I, I can't get over it. He comes out here earlier on tonight, and he's friendly to you, and he's waving fans. It's so great to be back here in Steel Domain Wrestling. You turn around, and boom, here he is. How many times have we seen that's what money can do? Shut your mouth! And I think it also speaks to the low level that Golden Idol will stoop to. He figured with everything he's gone through, Ryan Slade was probably vulnerable, and that's when the Golden Idol attacked. You got it. I, I can't I can't disagree with that theory at all. I think you're spot on, Ken. Let's see, it's Brick McCarthy. The world's greatest one club caddy. Brick McCarthy starting things off with, as you said, Benedict Arnold, the turncoat, the backstabber, Ryan Slade. It'll be interesting to see what we get out of Ryan Slade. You know, he's been off for about a year. Very possible he can be very rusty. His reactions can be a bit slow. Well, you know, Ryan Slade is one of those guys. We've seen him as a rule breaker. We've seen him abide by the rules. But now this, this to me, the Golden Idol, I, I, I'd like to pull Ryan Slade aside and say, your career is being sabotaged right before your very eyes, young man. And you know, it was very smart on the Golden Idol to start Ryan Slade, because you know Chatsworth and Brick were just gunning for Aaron Corbin. Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And you know, we've alluded to it at Ridgefield a couple of months ago, just a, a horrific beatdown on the part of the Temple of Terror. One thing, Ryan Slade was pretty quick to tag himself out. He sure was, yeah, well. Welcome back to Steve. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of crap? You know, that is about as low as it gets. 
But you know what? It's a mind game on the part of Eric Corbin. He's trying to get into the head of Chadwick Wentworth III and Brick McCarthy, get them a little discombobulated, get them off their game plan. And you said it well, it's what we've come to expect from the Temple of Terror and the Golden Idol. Just when you think they can't go any lower, they exceed your expectations. Kid, you gotta understand something. As I mentioned before, I go back 30 years with the Golden Idol, and I remember when he managed Sheik Adnan L. Casey. And if that doesn't tell you something about this guy's character or lack thereof, I don't know what does. Well said. Rick McCarthy, I call him the modern day Dick Murdoch, and here's a tag. He looks a little like Dick. He sure does. Chadwick Wentworth III tags in. Look at 300 pounds. Welcome back, Ryan Slade. Yeah, exactly. Watch this now. Oh, oh my God. They just ran right through him. That man bun of Ryan Slade's is going to be uh, in the third row ringside here before too long. Right now, you've got to wonder if the Golden Idol is rethinking the strategy. I'm not sure. It looked like Eric Corbin was going for a tag there. And, you know, it looked like it, but it didn't seem to be a full-on effort. A little half-hearted. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, look at the two of them now. Rick McCarthy, Chadwick went with the third. They have systematically dissected every opponent, every tag team that's been put in front of them for the last two years here in Steel Domain Wrestling. Now, can they take the measure? of the devious Golden Idol and his Temple of Terror. This is a test. Not only that, but I'm still amazed that they're being cheered on by this SDW crowd. When have you ever heard that? I have a feeling that when the Golden Idol is involved, I think the people would cheer Vladimir Putin over the Golden Idol. I'm just guessing. Well, I think they're kindred souls. Well, I would say that, no, no doubt about it. Trust them about equally. Watch this now. Slade with that big boot to Brick McCarthy. Follow up. Look at Brick. Oh my God. Big slam. In for the cover. Kind of one. No. Corbin. Now Corbin's a big man. Hit and run. Get your shot in and get out of the ring. Get the crap. Look at him. Look at Eric Corbin. You know, Mick, with this, with all the bad blood, with everything the Temple of Terror is capable of. You have to question the decision to give this match to referee Jesse Johnson. Yeah, you know, I, I hate to say it. Uh, in the NFL, if the broadcast team took a shot at the officials, they'd probably be fine. We don't have that hanging over our heads. But there is just yeah. questioning the thought process. Jesse Johnson can be a great official, and he can also have his off nights. Let's hope this isn't one of them. Right now, Chatsworth is having anything but an off night. Oh, man. Hammering away at Ryan Slade. Ryan Slade's lovely wife is in the audience. His baby is in the audience. And this is what they have to see. This is what they're exposed to. Oh, over the top. Corbin pulled down the rope. And Chadwick went with the third goal to the outside. And Corbin is putting the boots to him. Rick McCarthy doing his partner more harm than good right now. The referee, Jesse Jeff Johnson, has to get McCarthy out of the ring, and it's allowing Corbin to do a number on the outside. Just exactly what we talked about. Now Corbin throws him back here, but again, the referee, we're, you've got to be cognizant of who the legal men are in the ring and where they are. If I'm Steel Domain Wrestling, Ken, this match, in particular, two referees. You can't yes. count on one man. The bad blood between these four is just, it, it's off the charts. Well, let's clarify one thing. You basically, you are Steel Domain Wrestling. You may not be calling the shots, but you are Steel Domain Wrestling. Is that gonna be reflected in my pay envelope? That's what we're, I thought. We're, we're, we're talking about Ed <laughs> Hellier yeah. and Idol Tech. What do you think? That answered that question too. Another mystery solved, sadly. And again, we see the referee allowing the Temple of Terror to have their way, and he is concerned with the man that's not supposed to be in the ring as opposed to the two that are. I understand getting the guy out of the ring, the illegal man, but you've got to have your head on a swivel. You have to. You can't be distracted for 30 seconds at a time. And we're really now seeing the first offense tonight out of Ryan Slade. Corbin still watch Aaron Corbin. Now the referee 
This time he sees Corbin. I'm not sure it makes any difference to Aaron Corbin if the referee has is looking well, you right could, at him. You could see Aaron Corbin gesture to Ryan Slade to go after Brick at the referee involved to allow Corbin outside the ring against Chatsworth. Tosses him back into the ring. Big elbow. Did they make the tag for Klein? No, they didn't, but the referee right in front of Jesse Johnson. Corbin comes in with that cheap shot elbow to the short ribs. Ryan Slade working over. Chadwick Wentworth the third, the big man. He's smart, they want to keep him in their corner. And you know, they have tagged two, three times and Chadwick has been unable to tag. Endured quite a beating, you know he's got to be wearing down. He has got to find a way to get to his partner. He's got to tag. No question about it. I mean, all the starch is being taken out of him in the corner. There's snap mare to the canvas by the head. And now look at Corbin. Watch Aaron Corbin. He's precision. That boot caught him right in the jaw. Aaron Corbin out of Boston, Massachusetts. The self proclaimed peak of the Temple of Terror. Look at, look at Chadwick trying to fire back, but he's taken some pounding here for the last several minutes. And Ken, you brought up a very good point. Ryan Slade and Aaron Corbin doing a tremendous job of cutting off the ring. This is absolute precision tag team wrestling. You know, Mick, you have to be impressed. Ryan Slade's been out of action for about a year, has never teamed with Aaron Corbin, and they are really working well together. You've got to give the devils their due. No doubt, no doubt about it. Now, Chadwick trying to fire back here. Gets to a vertical base, but a big running clothesline from Ryan Slade. And you, you could see how disoriented he was, and he kind of turned around trying to figure out where his partner was, Absolutely. and it's because of the beating he's endured. And again, this is about, what, the sixth, seventh tag? I mean, they're, they're a well-oiled machine tonight. I gotta give them credit, yes. much as I don't want to. And, you know, you have to think, is this part of the tutelage of the Golden Idol? We don't know how long they've been working together behind the scenes in training. Well, my hooker crook, and again, I hate to say it, the Golden Idol gets the job done. Well, whether it's devious, whether it's, you know, pulling the rug out, he'd stab his own mother if there was a $5 bill in it for him. I guarantee it. I was going to say, when you say you know it by hook or crook, if it's the Golden Idol, you know it's crook. All crook. You got it. Watch this now. Oh, oh double clothesline. Double clothesline. Both men. Same idea. Same impact. Same result. And now... Chadwick has got to get to his corner and make a tag to Brick McCarthy. He's got to get over there. What a collision in the middle of the ring. He is close, Chad. Now look at, oh. now what? The referee did not uh, see the tag. Uh, Johnson! Smart move on the part of Aaron. Very Kobe. smart, very smart, very aware. Just waiting and looking well, right. Come on for crying out loud, referee. Turn around once in a while. Oh. It's maddening and frustrating. I realize that the man, you know, it, it's not an easy job. I get that. But well, it, it, have a little mobility in there. I, it, it's, it's like we talked about. Some officials are just not up to the big man. game. And this match, you knew there was bad blood. And we're seeing the result of still an inexperienced referee. No question. No and, question. and at the same time, the Temple of Terror are playing him to the hill. Oh, they are like a fiddle, no doubt. Look at, Br at, at Chadwick Wentworth III has taken such a beating, he can't even get to a vertical base. The man can't even stand up. Watch Corbin now. Corbin off that second rope. Chadwick has been in this match about 95%. He has. Well, Corbin took about a week and a half going Oh, nice move. Now, Chadwick, has, he can't worry about Corbin. He has got to tag, and... You think to me, if nothing else, he's got to be able to roll over to that point. That and you're starting to see the frustration now on Brick. He wants in and can't get... And every time he tries, the referee pushes him out. 
Chadwick is in the wrong corner. Aaron Corman is in the wrong corner. Uh-oh, back to back. There's a tag on both sides of the ring now. Two fresh men come. Oh, what a shot from Rick McCarthy. Oh, good grief. Look at the Brick House. He is on fire. Rick McCarthy unloading single-handedly. Did he get him? Oh, man. Very, very close. How close was that? Oh, big elbow. Slade now going up top. Oh, nice maneuver on the part of Aaron Corbin. Slade with the follow-up. Count of one, two. We've got no, no. No tag, the referee counts, but again, the way that Ryan Slade and Aaron Corbin are working together is really dumbfounding. Yeah. They look like a team that has been together for the two, three years that 300 power has. You are so right. It's all breaking loose right now. I'm not even sure who the legal men are in the ring anymore, Ken. I've totally lost track, and I guarantee you, yeah. Jesse Johnson certainly has. Watch this now, here we go, three under par. Oh, that big one, that's gotta do it. Three under par retains the chance. Oh, no, count a two. The fans insist it was a three count. I think, right or wrong, Corbin did get in and pull him out just in time. Oh no, oh, he punched the referee. Aaron Corbin just drilled referee Jesse Johnson. Well, that's got to that's gotta put a halt to this one, you would think. Well, one, I don't understand why Aaron Corbin did that. They've been getting the best of the referee. But wait a minute. Oh, wait a second now. The rest of the Temple of Terror. The rest of the Temple. SDW has got to get some people out here to gain control of this. This is four against two. Stacy Shadows, Ricky Love, Aaron Corbin, and Ryan Slade working over. Rick McCarthy and Chadwick went with the third. Now Brick is trying to fight back. And oh my Chad God! Rick. Look at, look at. Chadwick is going after Stacy Shadows in the corner. Are you kidding me? Can you blame him? Hey, if you want to play with the big boys, I guess that's what happens. He dropped Stacy Shadows. Oh. It is absolute, total chaos in there. We heard the bell ring, but I don't know who signaled for the bell. Jesse Johnson is flat on his face. Yeah. It may have been a West Coast timekeeper, Roger Buck, just trying to take control of things. Well, it may have been, but nonetheless, oh, face first. Rick McCarthy, Chadwick Wentworth the third. This is this is insanity, ladies and gentlemen. And now Brick is going up against after Stacy Shadow. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my! Oh my! Oh, oh. able to extricate Stacy Shadows from the ring. Eric Corbin at the last minute. I don't know. Do we have an official decision here? Roger Buck rang the bell, but the referee is in La La Land. I have no idea. And you could tell even the Golden Idol seems a little perplexed. Well, what the hell just happened You here? guys want to cheap shot us? You got to be, is he, did he say that? You think it's funny that they cheap shot us? So, I looked under the ring, and I saw three things. Wow, we don't like you. No kidding, no kidding, fans. So, I saw three things under the ring. I saw tables. Oh boy. I saw ladders. Oh my. Oh my. And I saw chairs. 
So right now, right now, what do you say? TLC match right now. Right now? Right now? Come on, you don't bear that. You can't do it right now. Well, there's no referee to stop them. Oh, here we go. There's a chill. Oh, this, this is not good. This is not good at all. So you all want a TLC match? You'll have to wait until the next time we're back here, losers. Oh, he baited. He baited them. He baited three under. He baited the fans. Aaron Corbin, the Golden Idol, Stacy Shadows, Ricky Love, the Temple of Terror, doing a four on two so number. Let me get this straight. Uh oh, wait a minute. We can't hear you. You got four Temple of Terror idiots, and you're afraid to come in the ring against three other bars. You see. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Three on the park. You see, three on the park's been real since the beginning. And we have backed out nobody. Especially you, Chump. Eric Corbin. Especially you. Hey, Stacey Shadow, I'll come out there and slap you across the mouth right now. Well, Stacey's not backing down. I don't know if I would have said that. And when you think about it, I don't know that the weak link of the Temple of Terror would happen to be Stacy Shadows. I might have gone Ryan Slater, Ricky Love. Man. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. 